Hey, what is up guys? This is Cobb, and we have some blue patch notes to go through. These just dropped the other day, and this is an update that is going to be arriving on February 7th. So, very, very close. Let's scan through some of these notes, skipping over the stuff that I'm not that interested in. If I skip over anything, like blood decay changes, for example, that you want to read up on a little bit yourself, then these notes will be linked below in the video description. The first one I am going to stop at straight away before we skip to Warlock and then cover some others is Frost DK's. Oh yes, you guys know I like my little Frost DK ult men. Um, and it's good to see some buffs rolling in. Uh, it's nothing that's like super game breaking, no like obliterate damage buffs or anything like that. But we do have Frost Fever damage going up 15%. That's fine, that's dandy, that's nice, it's alright. Frost Strike damage by 10%, also pretty good. And Frost Whelps aid, uh, Frost Whelps aid damage increased by 100%. Oh my god, that seems like so much. And then you realize that the Frost Whelp deals like... 5k damage or something <laughs> so it's really just it's the, this buff is just going to make it do something rather than nothing you know so cool lots of little aoe damage bonuses as well to things like glacial advance and stuff like that so frost getting a little bit of help is this gonna be enough to make it good in pvp well probably not okay so straight up we're gonna skip to warlock next and then i'll cover some of the other classes first of all we have inquisitor's gears fell barrage damage increased by 35 percent grand again this seems like a huge buff once again but this wasn't really doing much before. It would kind of pew pew people for like 2 or 3k damage or something. Um, it should be hitting like 4k damage now. That's about that. Um, summon Soul Keeper damage increased by 35%. Okay, interesting. Never play with that, obviously, PvP. But, you know, destruction. Here we go, man. He's the source. He's the juice. Soul Fire damage increased by 20%. I might have to fucking finally integrate Soul Fire into my build right now. I pretty much skip it in favor of Bolt every time. We'll see, dudes. Uh, incinerate damage also increased by a fair the 5%. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Right. We also have a bunch of uh, damage buffs as well to Demonology. The Wild Imps, I guess, is just like very, very minor damage. So these seem like overall uh, pretty small damage buffs. Let's see what Blizzard say about this. Reveal that both Destruction and Demonology could use some improvements to their overall contribution in single target situations. These adjustments are specifically targeting talents that we feel could be more competitive while also putting additional power into rotational spells. Cool, cool, cool. Always lovely. Okay. I actually really, really don't like the Soulfire Destro playstyle. I'm relying on Soulfire and things like PvP, but that's just me. Some people use it, some people don't. There you go, man. 20% damage buff. Feels pretty fucking grand, right? And just to kind of follow on from this, we'll go to the Warlock changes in PvP next, real quick. Uh, Affliction. Unstable Affliction Backlash damage increased by 35%. So this is the damage that UA inflicts when, uh, for example, like a healer dispels it, right? Um, this getting a damage buff, quite surprising to me. I don't know if it was like suddenly reduced uh, any time recently, but I remember Pingu, I was watching Pingu play as Resto Druid. He one shot at himself by dispelling a UA, man. So to see this getting uh, buffed by 35%, I don't know, dude. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's just not doing much damage anymore. Pingu hasn't played for a, for a little while now. He's on a bit of a break from the game, but you know what I'm saying. Either which way, man. Good news for Affy, right? Destruction, case bolt damage increased from 15%. It has to be said in PvP to 40% bonus damage in PvP. Fuck yeah, dude. That is some damn good news. Um, honestly, might even be a little bit OP. I kind of feel like Destro's case bolt damage. Look, man, people aren't going to like me saying this. Shut up, Cobb, shut up. They're going to buff it. Keep your mouth shut. You can't just let them buff it, okay? But no, look, I got to be honest. I think that with the current design of Case Bolt, it's, it feels like it's designed to be powerful if you get off, like, two or three in a row with, like, Ritual of Ruin or whatever. Um, I don't think that it needs this big of a buff, dude. 25%? This is, like, an extra 25% damage, man. This is fucking crazy, okay? Like, this is a big-ass buff. I think that Destro could easily be an S-tier caster next patch as a result of this buff and the uh, above buffs as well, dude. But there you go, man. Um, resolved an issue that caused Bane of Havoc PvP talent to deal more damage than intended to targets. Interesting. I didn't know that that was a current bug, but there you go. Um, also, Fell Fisher, the PvP talent that uh, causes Chaos Ball to open like a Fell Rift under people, um, reducing the healing they take by 25%. Uh, healing reduction no, no longer stacks with similar effects. Okay, so apparently that was just another bug. We're going to see a few uh, blue changes like this, where apparently like Mortal Strike effects were kind of stacking with each, uh, with each other and fucking each other up. So those have been fixed, man. But overall, small buffs for uh, Frost DK in, as far as PvP is concerned. 
pretty sizable buffs for uh, for Destro. Not bad for uh, Affy and Demo either. Kind of surprising stuff. Not gonna lie, man. I didn't expect fucking Destro changes. I definitely didn't expect Demo uh, Demonology buffs either. But well, there you go, man. Um. So next up, what else have we got, man? Evoker. All healing reduced by five percent. They are. They do feel like at least in PvP one of the biggest like healing throughput classes in the game. Uh, so I'm not too shocked to see this. I kind of feel like if they're able to heal on someone for like two seconds, they always just top them almost instantly. They feel like crazy, crazy, uh, crazy, crazy healers to play up against in my view, but that's coming from a caster's point of view, you know? If you're a melee, I don't know, maybe you enjoy clobbering the fuck out of them. Hunters, overall damage buffs, 5% all around to all hunter specs. I'm fine with that. Hunters are around like the kind of B tier right now in PvP, most of the specs anyway. Um... I'm totally fine with these kind of flat uh, buffs to all of the specs. It's fine. Miss Weaver Monks, all healing increased by 3%. Vivify healing increased by a little bit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just looks like overall small-ish buffs. Again, I'm not going to read through all of these in super high detail, so... I don't know, maybe these buffs are bigger than I think. Um, small buffs to Miss Weaver as far as I can see. Small buffs still holy. Um, Sherman, healing surge healing increased by 10%. And chain healing increased by 10% too. Oh, yo, 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 yo. And then what restoration you get further? Oh, okay, healing wave. Uh, healing increased by 10% too. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Overall buffs, man, to the blues, dude. To the blue, uh, to the blue healers. Feels kind of warranted. I don't know. I feel like Shaman's one of those healers that's so, so vulnerable to being even just a little bit too undertuned. Means that they can just get trucked down and they really, really fucking struggle, especially when it's like a melee dominated meta. Uh, which it is right now in PvP, so I think these changes are pretty good for Shemi. Um, Warlock, we've already covered. What about Demon Hunter, man? See, I don't know how Demon Hunter works. Your old Demon Hunter man's gonna tell me how big of a deal this is. Restless Hunter. Uh, damage bonus for the next Blade Dance or Death Sweep reduced by 40% in PvP combat. That feels like a lot. 40% damage reduction on anything feels like a lot, really. Um, I just don't know how big of a deal these two particular abilities that you know, being boosted by Restless Hunter. Uh, actually are, you know, so if you play Demon Hunter, if you know how big of a deal this is, please do let me know down below in the comments. Also make sure to like and subscribe, by the way, man, if you're enjoying this hopefully quite speedy patch coverage, man. Um, so we've got some Druid, Guardian Druid changes. Okay, cool, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Evokers, Living Flame Healing. Okay, so Evokers, uh, Devastation Evokers, are very, uh, very much one of the underrepresented casters in... PvP, so let's see, man. Living Flame healing increased by 30% in PvP, okay. Better Embrace healing by uh, increased by 20% in PvP, okay. All survivability changes of these. Pressing Raw increases the duration of uh, incoming crowd control by 30%. Was 20% in PvP combat, okay. This is intended to offset the above noted game wide 5% healing reduction by targeting abilities we would like to see more prominent in a preservation evokers pvp healing profile okay yeah i was kind of wondering are these things that uh, devastation evokers use um apparently not man these are all preservation uh, focused huh i should really level an evoker and learn what the fuck they do additionally a pressing raw has been uh, has not been as valuable as a talent point as we had hoped so we are slightly increasing its effectiveness fair 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 Let's see what these PvP Hunter changes are, man. Oh my god, look at Maxman, dude. Maxman is getting the love, man. Okay, so they were really, really... Uh, they, they were kind of hardcore nerfed, um, obviously, in the most, most uh, recent patch, 0.0.5. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not too surprising to see this. These are steep damage buffs, though. Rapid Fire, Aim Shot, and Chimera Shot. All getting buffs with 30% to, uh, to, to Chimera. Oh my god, dude. That's kind of crazy. With the removal of double tap, there it is. Maximum hunter damage has been lower than we would like to see. So we are increasing several main rotation abilities while decreasing unerring vision with the goal of higher sustained damage. Okay, all right. What do we got here, man? Miss Weaver. Now triggers the dispel back backlash effects from unstable affliction and vampiric touch. Oy, 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 oy. Healing increased by 320%. What the fuck does healing sphere do? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm, don't even answer that question in the comments. I'm gonna look up exactly what Healing Spear does. Um, after I've done recording this goddamn video. But that is huge, man. 320%? Oh my god. 
Okay. Shadow, it's just like the Psy Fiend uh, healing reduction was stacking with the Molten Strike effects kind of stupidly. So they fixed that. Um, Volt Delva's Toolkit. Okay, this is for Assassination. Volt Delva's Toolkit, aka the four piece set bonus, bleed damage bonus reduced by 50% in PvP combat. Developers' notes. The four-piece set bonus for Assass has been more significant in the damage profile than we would like. Okay, man, how steep is that then? Any rogues out there, let me know, dude. 50% seems uh, fucking steep. So, hey, man. Oh, yo, 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 what else we got, man? Damage to Earth Wall Totem increased in, uh, caused by damage absorb effects. Oh, damage absorbed by pets is reduced by 90%. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Oh, we have some arms changes right at the bottom. Dude, I was about to wrap it up there, man. Executioner's Precision is now 30% effective in PvP combat, was 50%. Martial Prowess is now 33% effective in PvP combat, was also 50%. Let me check those real quick. Oh, okay, okay. So I just looked those up. Martial Prowess is basically a stacking damage buff to a uh, Mortal Strike after using Overpower or something. You get a couple of stacks of that and it beefs up the damage of your Mortal Strike by like 50% or something per stack, or by like a lot per stack. So it being reduced by half is actually a lot. Uh, Executioner's Precision is uh, a Mortal Strike damage buff that you gain after uh, using Execute on a target. So that also being reduced by a lot is going to help out a lot too, man. But Overpower Damage increased by 20% in PvP combat, and Slam Damage increased by 40% in PvP combat. So it looks like overall they're just trying to nerf uh, Mortal Strike a little bit. It just feel like it was getting a little bit out of hand. Being like 130k fucking Mortal Strike of Warriors is just kind of nutty, kind of mental, kind of fucking crazy. Anyways, what do you guys think of the changes, man? I'm shocked by some of these changes, I gotta be honest. Some of them seem grand. Things like the Destro buffs feel a little bit crazy, but I'll take them, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. And shall catch all of you guys uh, just a tad bit later.